Alright guys, welcome back to episode 13 of the Hearts Football Manager 2019 career mode. Hopefully it's not number unlucky 13 because uh, we're in the Scottish Cup fourth round and we do not want to be knocked out. We want to go pretty far in this tournament. Ideally, we'd love to win it, get a bit of silverware in our first season, but we definitely don't want to get knocked out in the fourth round and we definitely, 100% do not want to get knocked out by our rivals. Hibernian. So, since the last game we played, which was the Aberdeen match, which may I add our undefeated record of 10 games undefeated came to an end, we sort of bounced back, not too bad. Uh, we beat Hamilton in our next home game, 1 0 win. We had uh, Haring sent off, Hamilton had Miller sent off, so both teams were down to 10 men relatively early. But Godinho, who was uh, covering for his at left back, actually. Um, did the job and he got the goal but unfortunately Godinho uh, in the next game kept them in the team at left back and he got sent off and that sending off may have led to Hibernian getting that late equaliser but the goal for Emerson Heinemann Jesus Christ it was an absolute belter so I, I can't really take that away from them but it would have been fantastic if we could have beat Hibernian but uh, you know what a draw it's not the end of the world considering we were down to 10 men for about 30 minutes or 35 minutes I think a draw is no a bad result. I also managed to arrange a friendly at Tencastle during the uh, you know the January break just to get a bit of money and we lost this one by one goal to nil but you know what we're not too bored but that was more just to try and get a bit of uh, money and try and help the finances a wee bit so that's what that was all about. So in the league table we are still third, uh, one point in front of Rangers Two points behind Aberdeen, and you can see now we're 12 points behind Celtic. Celtic are running away with the league. Uh, the form has been tremendous at the moment, and I just do not expect them to drop points anytime soon, or at least I don't expect them to lose anytime soon. Um, you see, the last time they drew a game in the league was away at Ibrox to Rangers, and then since then it's been, you know, they've been fucking dominant. The last time they lost was against us back at the start of November. So, um, aye, they're, they're doing great, they're playing well, and um, it looks like they're definitely going to win the league. But still, second place looks like it's going to be a tight battle between ourselves, Rangers and Aberdeen. So uh, we'll just keep trying and we'll see what happens. As for transfers, there's been a few players coming and leaving. So uh, obviously, as you know, David Fanick, I'm going to call him Fanick. Fanick, I don't know, man, but I'm just going to call him I'm going to call him Fanick. Um, I think he played like three times for his last season. He was fucking diabolical. Um, but I'm going to call him Fanick. Because why not? If he plays Pish, I'll probably call him Fanny. Um, <laughs> and we also got Diego Poyet on a free. So I, could, I didn't have any control over the David Fanick uh, signing, obviously, as we signed him in real life. So the deal had to go through. But. Uh, Diego Poyet was a guy that I signed and I think he's going to be decent. The reason I got him was because uh, Marios Nicoli has agreed to leave at the end of the season. So it's basically just a you know a replacement for him. And uh, yeah, pretty much it. He'll be a good defensive midfielder for us, hopefully. Danny Amanqua left to go to some team in uh, Denmark. Fuck him. we got 47k, possibly rising up to 59. Not too bad. And then Di Camolina went to Partick Thistle on loan for the end of the season. And last but not least, we managed to create a senior affiliate with Hertha Berlin. So um, the link type that will give Hertha Berlin first option on our players, but we will also have the opportunity to loan players from Hertha Berlin, which I think will help us, and they will have to pay us £54,000 per year. I think uh, we might also try and negotiate some sort of friendly, but I'm hoping that we be, will be able to get a few Hertha Berlin players. And obviously, yeah, they do get first option on our players, but we don't need to sell them. It's just Hertha Berlin get first choice, but we are under no uh, obligation to sell. So, I mean, I thought it was a good deal. Why not, you know, try and branch out, try and get some Germans in on loan. And I think that will only help us as we try and progress in Scotland. But anyway, guys, that's it. Let's get stuck into the Edinburgh Derby Scottish fourth round cup. Scottish Cup fourth round. Got it right there, eventually. And um, ah, we're a wee bit. <laughs> Team's a little bit fucked. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the starting 11. 
and then we'll see you on the pitch. All right, so that is the team we're going to go with, with injuries to um, Dimitri Mitchell, Sean Clare and Uchi Ikepesu. I've had to uh, basically change three of the, the main attacking players and also uh, Christoph Beres had to come in as for the um, injured, not the injured, or sorry, the uh, well, I guess he is injured technically. Well, Dika Mona left, and then we do have injuries with uh, Peter Haring as well. Aaron Hughes isn't really fit, so we're having to play uh, Crystal Berra, the captain, who, to be honest, isn't really ready to play. He's not fully fit. Uh, Garuccio is coming in at left back, his first game back since his injury. So, uh, aye, I've decided to go with Cochrane. Uh, Mulraney and Fanakic or David as we'll call him coming in as the free attacking player so you know we're not used to this team I'm, I'm, I don't know what to expect a lot of players here are just not really you know haven't been featuring lately and uh, obviously David is making his uh, debut so very interesting lineup here Hibbs probably looking at this thinking yo man we've got a really good chance a lot of injuries at the moment for us you know a lot of Players not fit, so I'm hoping that um, would we take a tie? I don't know. I guess if we forced a replay, we would have more players available. Don't get, we've got a shitload of injuries, but none of them are really long term. You know, most of our players will be back within like a week, and there's a lot of players that you know just aren't fully fit yet, and they need another about another week, another four or five days to try and get back to their uh, fitness and try and keep the training going. So. I don't know, probably would take a draw if he offered me it at the moment, but ideally a win would be great. Anything but a loss is uh, what the doctor ordered here at Esther Road. Easter, Easter Road, fuck me, Esther. Easter Road. Got Nelome with the throw in. Just a, the track, the trajectory he got him in on that throw was mental. Uh, the ball now being ping ponged about in the middle of the field. Slipka to Heinemann, who scored that epic goal in the last Edinburgh derby to rescue a point for Hibs. Effie Ambrose now out to Gray. David Gray, a Hibs hero, finds Camberry to Heinemann. Heinemann pings a ball out to the left-hand side where it's Nalome. Cuts inside now, onto his right foot. I can't tell if that was a cross or an attempt at goal, but either way it was fucking woeful. And it's out for a heart's goal kick, fortunately for us. I won't complain too much, I mean... If he wants to keep doing that all day long, I'll be happy enough. And uh, Slivka has already picked up a yellow card, I've just noticed, so not ideal for Hibs. He picked that up very early, man. Jesus, that must have been like in the second minute. 29 seconds, holy fuck. That must be the... I think that's the earliest booking I've ever seen. 29 seconds, holy crap, I can't think of one quicker. Malin there with a sliding challenge, it was a great challenge, unfortunately, I would have loved a free kick, but it's not to be, he got the ball 100%, Camberry now, Hibbs looking to counter, I feel like they're dangerous on the counters in the loam, again, oh Jesus Christ, he's went for it, I mean, this guy just doesn't, <laughs> I mean, he's, he doesn't know how to say no, he can't help himself anytime he seems to get forward, he will just have a crack at it in that time, man, for about 40 yards, he almost found the top right hand corner, so, we definitely need to do something, we need to keep him quiet. And David Gray now picks up a yellow card 26 minutes into the game. So Hibs definitely look up for this one. They seem to be a bit feisty. And I think the longer the game's going, the more they seem to be coming into it. We seem, we seem to start the better team, but Hibs, I think the the more minutes it tick by, Hibs seem to be up in the ante, right? Ball up front and uh, Fanek on his debut. Picked up the ball here, what's the hold up play, link up play, up. holy Lee, Jesus Christ man, shots for distance here are insane, holy Lee almost scoring a screamer, bogged that in there, had to palm it out for a corner kick, holy Lee will be taking it though, can we get a good delivery here, it's, nah, it's headed away by Ambrose now, it's Gray, gets the second header on it and that will get rid of any danger that Hibernian faced from that set piece, 35 minutes gone, 10 minutes until the half and uh, Things are looking no too bad. It's been a solid game. I can't really make any complaints. We've had chances. Hibs have had chances. Nothing clear cut, but uh, both Lee and um, Nelome for Hibs have had two really close long range efforts in the opening half.
And with two minutes to go, it looks like that is going to call time on proceedings. I don't think there's going to be any, any chance for a further attack. Four seconds to go. We will take it into half time, nil nil. So Ty is still wide open at the moment. And um, let's see here what's happening around the ground. You've got Dundee United are beating Dunfermline. Ayers beating them Barton, St Johnston's beating Elgin, Celtic are beating Forfar, Inverness are beating Edinburgh City, Morton are getting beat by Willow. No shocks really, I mean everyone you'd, you'd expect to be winning is winning pretty much at the moment. But we will keep an eye on the latest scores to see what happens. Um, team talk. Going to be assertive. We're not doing badly at all, if everyone keeps us up we'll win. I think that's a fair claim. I think we're playing okay. I think if we keep if we if we keep this up and we maybe add an extra five ten percent onto our game, I think we can come away with a win here. So I think that's a fair team talk. But already in the second half, it's David Gray and it's into the hands of Colin Doyle. He picks that up, gathers it up, fucking sucks it up like a Hoover into his gloves, and that is where the attack ends for the Hibs. I'm looking at our bench here, I mean, who have we got that's capable of coming on? You've got McLean, Jehum, new signing Poyet, Brandon, Morrison, Hughes. So, in terms of attacking options, there's not that many. If we're being completely honest, you've got McLean and Morrison, and that's like the only attack minded players there. I mean, Jehum can come on and get forward, but I mean, in terms of attacking options, it's, we seem to be limited to just McLean. And Morrison here, in the loam, tried to cross it, it's took a block off Michael Smith, who's also picked up a yellow card somehow. The Rolls Royce, Michael Smith finds Ollie Lee, Lee then into Harry Cochrane. 58 minutes going, Cochrane to McDonald. Up to David Fanexi. Or, I don't know man, I'll never get that name right. I'm just going to call him fucking David, screw it, the pressure's getting to me, I'm trying to Call him by his real name, but David's through! And on his debut, man, he hits it right at Bogdan. I can't believe it. Fuck me, what a chance. What a pass. Should have been a goal, man. Bogdan knew absolutely nothing about it, man. The ball just bounced off him. Shocking. Lee with the cross in back post. Can Berry's there to get ready at McDonald? Will pick it up. Can he get a cross in? Can he keep the pressure? On the hips defence, passes it back to Michael Smith, and that is the end of that attack. As we approach the hour mark, and um, let's see, team instructions. Um, I'm going to up the, up the directness a little bit, up the tempo a bit. As we approach the uh, final third of this match. Who can we bring on here? I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I think we're going to bring on uh, Mulraney. He's not dead much. So I think we'll bring on Callum Morrison. David Fanisic. Fan Is it Fanisic? I don't know. Fuck. Yeah, did we bring McLean on? Or did we just leave it for now? We could bring on Juhum. I think for Ollie Lee. Ah, oh, we'll bring on Juhum for Cochrane. Screw it. I'm going to bring on Juhum and Morrison. That leaves us one sub right left, but that's uh, for now. Oh my god, so oh, I thought Michael Smith had been showing a second yellow there. Maybe we should take Michael Smith off. Seems like he could uh, be picking up a second yellow, and that's the last thing we want. He's just gave away a foul there, so he needs to fucking calm it down. Martin Boyle has come on for Ollie Shaw, so Hibbs beginning to make a few substitutions as well. The pace, a Boyle could cause us problems. Hibernian shooting has not been great today, 10 shots, only 2 on target. We've not been much better to be honest, 13 shots, 4 on target. The accuracy has been a bit poor so far. Here we go, it's Grutschio. Ball comes in, it's David, it's Shuhum. Oh, surely? I don't believe it, he's put it wide. Fucking hell. 
thought that was it, eight minutes to go. I thought you who had secured the win for sorry for the squeaky chair there. Had to just go and wing my cat after the cooker. He was trying to eat the cooked chicken in there. Uh, I cat was fucking trying to steal the chicken, so had to toss him at the window. I didn't really toss him at the window, he's sitting here, but fucking felt like it. I'd have tossed I'll toss him at the window if Hibbs got a late winner here. I brought Lewis Stevenson on now for Miguel Nelum. At least that means his shots ain't going to cause as much problems, and it looks like that's going to do it, guys. Uh, so do we make a substitution here? We bring on McLean, I think, for for uh, Fanic. But I, I just don't, I can't see much happening here in the last what ninety seconds. It's going to look like it's going to be a replay. David Gray, Berra clears it, it to Lee. Lee surely gets ready, and that's the end of the match. Steffi Ambrose, yeah, it's all over, so no team really uh, did enough there to, you know, get us the win. Apparently Finette should have done more. I mean, I kind of agree, he didn't really do much today. Kind of disappointed, you know, struggled to perform. New, new signing, man, it's expecting a lot more from him, and he just didn't really deliver, so that's a little bit disappointing. And uh, yeah, so Hugo held it for the draw, uh, he made his new debut, but he just didn't really perform, did he? Uh, he has worth 1.5 million though, so I mean, we could sell the guy, I don't think we can sell him in this window because he's just arrived, but I mean, at the end of the season, there's no reason why we can't try and sell him, and you know, we are struggling financially, so who knows, plus he's on over 5 grand a week, so unless he starts delivering, you know, we will... We'll definitely all consider because there's no point keeping the guy if he's not really performing. Uh, he is an important player in his prime years. Apparently he's rated roughly about the same as Uchi Ikepezu. Good player from most premiership sides. Like he seemed, he does seem decent like, but I mean I, I would love to try and get someone like a Lauren Shankland. So, I mean who knows. Maybe we could, or Eamon Brophy, I was looking at Brophy as well. So. Who knows, maybe we sell him, bring in Brophy and Shankland. I don't know. It's a, it's a possibility, guys. It is a possibility. Uh, Uchi as well, he's worth quite a bit of money. I think Uchi's worth, you could get a bit of money for Uchi. I mean, I mean Uchi's alright. Like, I'm not going to, I don't want to force him at the door, but, you know, it's just if they don't really start performing. But I think Uchi's done no bad. I mean, he's had 12 appearances, got 5 goals, an average rate of 6.84. I think Uchi probably has a Number one striker at the moment, but uh, yeah, Fanishich or David, whatever we were going to call the guy, will definitely need to perform, guys, if um, if he is to, you know, stay in a maroon shot. But uh, that's going to do it then. So we do have the Scottish Cup replay. That's probably the game we'll come back for next time. It's the end of the month. But before the end of the month, we're going to try and maybe we can get a few loan players from here for Berlin and take advantage of the new affiliate program we have with them. I doubt we'll be bringing in anyone else bar potential loan players from here for Berlin. Maybe one or two players could even leave the club, but in terms of bringing more in, I don't think that is going to happen. But anyway, guys, that is it. Thanks for watching. We're still in the cup, so um, it wasn't it wasn't a disastrous episode, but you know it's, it's another game that we just didn't really need. But hey, it's better to have a replay than to get knocked out. So onwards and upwards, guys. Uh, we're third in the league. Season's going good so far, but um, you know we're getting into the final third now. We just need to keep it going, and hopefully we can uh, see it through, get a European place, and maybe even get a bit of silverware. But that's it, guys. Till next time, peace.